the time I crashed my boyfriend's car like how the fuck you do that I'm like how the fuck you do that like for real anyways I'm gonna try to tell this story quick because I tend to like tell stories like so long of like this happened and this happened but anyways let me just get straight into the story time so basically how it happened was I we were hungry so we we're like okay let's go to the mall he was like, Sierra, you can drive. Because he'd be trying to teach me how to drive because I don't have my license yet. But I do have a permit, so he'll let me drive. And he'll be, like, trying to teach me and correct me as I'm, you know, driving. So, get in the car. No, I lied. Oh, yeah. We were hungry, but first we wanted to, like, hang out and do something together. Try something new because we're always trying to, like, you know, do new shit that we never did. And new experiences, you know. Okay. Hurry up, cop. Anyways, so we decided to go ice skating, and I'll include some clips. Okay. So we went ice skating, and we had a good time, and then we left. So we're like, okay, like, we're hungry. So I was like, all right, let's go to the mall and get something to eat. So he's like, all right, bet, that sounds cool. Let's go. So, again, he wants me to drive. I drove to the um, ice skating, and we got there perfectly fine, and then I had to drive to the mall. So I'm like, okay, we get in the car. I got my seatbelt on, he has his seatbelt on, I'm about to pull out, mind you, um, I can't, I have to like reverse, so here's the parking spaces, I have to reverse out, but um, I put the car in drive, mind you there's a car, in, so this is his car and there's a car in front of his car, so I'm supposed to reverse out of the parking spot and then go my way, but right now I have the car in freaking drive and it's gonna send me forward into the other car. So, being the type of dude that he is, he's very observant, and like I said, he'll teach me and, like, try to, like, correct me and try to, like, watch for my mistakes. So, honestly, if he didn't, like, look down at the freaking stick, I was about to crash into that car. So, he was like, you sure are you straight to pull out? And I'm like, yes, yeah. like, come on, let's go. I'm hungry, like, come on, I'm about to put the phone on the break. He's like, look down, look down. He's like, you got it in drive. You need to reverse out of this spot. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, well, I would have dead crashed the car. Boom. That's my first mistake. Almost crashed the car. And I still end up doing some shit to the car later on in the story time, which we'll get there. I, girl. Girl. I'm not a bad driver, but. <laughs> so, boom. I put it in reverse. I pull out of the spot. And then there's a cop. And I'm scared, like, because I didn't have my permit on me on me. I left it at home, and he still had me driving. So I was like, no, Steph, like, I can't go. Like, the copy's right there. Like, no, I need to wait. And he's like, just go. If you drive like a normal person, they're not going to pull you over. Like, they're not just going to pull you over for doing nothing. Like, if you pull out and you drive correctly, you're not speeding, like, you're fine. Just pull the hell out. Stop looking, doing weird shit, and just go. So I'm like, okay. So I pull out, and I get out of the skating rink, and I'm driving to the mall. He's telling me, you know, like, just, oh, when you're driving, make sure you got two hands. Don't drive with one hand, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yes, yes, I know. He's like, okay, so we're at a light, and we have to do a turn. He's like, do you know how to do left turns? Mind you, he's driven with me plenty of times because he always lets me drive his car. I'm like, you know I know how to do a left turn. So, boom, there I go, about to turn the car. And I turn the car, perfectly fine. Boom, we're in the lane that I need to be in. So, I don't know how to explain this, but okay, we're in one lane, but eventually the lane's about to split into two lanes. So, I'm like going, 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 and I'm already breaking off. And he was like, oh, it's not time to break off into that second lane yet. You're not there yet. So, I'm like, uh, all right, well, here's a car, here's a curb. And I was about to split into two lanes, but he was telling me I could just go straight because it's not time to split into two lanes, right? So, um, he says that I turn, okay, so 
I'm like, all right, well, I'm already breaking off, so I might as well continue to break off. So I proceed to go this way. Mind you, I should have just went straight because when I proceeded to break off, I drove into a, like, I drove, oh, my God. I don't know if, <laughs> so there's, like, a curb, and there was, like, something, and I, boom, and we ended up on the curb, and then I turned the car and drove off the curb, and I kept driving, and he was, like, we was just, like, he's, like, you hit something. You, you, you hit the curb. Like, you ran into the curb. I'm, like, why didn't you tell me that there was a curb? Like, you're supposed to tell me you are here to tell me. And he's, like, you need to focus. You're the one driving. Like, I'm not supposed to tell you there's a curb. You know there's a curb. You know there's a sidewalk there. Why do I need to tell you there's a sidewalk there? And I'm, like, okay, um, first of all, first of all, uh, mister, mister, I know there's a sidewalk there. I just didn't know I was that close to the sidewalk. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you that you need to tell me there's a sidewalk there. I'm telling you that you need to tell me, yo, Sierra, you hella close to the sidewalk. Anyways, I'm like, all right, I just hit this man's car. Like, I don't need to be arguing with him about the curb. So, I proceed to drive or whatever. And I guess, I don't even feel that the tire is flat. Like, instantly, the, fly, the tire, poof. But I didn't really feel it while I was driving. So, he's like, pull over. And I'm like, the way he said it, I'm like, okay, poof. I just automatically pulled over. Boom, pulls over into some uh, freaking puddle. Mind you, he is just like, I need to check out my car so I don't give a shit what she just pulled into. He hops out of the car. When I tell you, this man got out of the car and he was like this. I was like, oh my God. Because mind you, I'm still in the car. But I'm looking at his reaction to how he reacted when he stepped out of the car. And I'm just like, holy shit. Like, I'm thinking like the whole front of his car is damaged like bent in crushed up but when i got out the car <laughs> i got out the car and i'm looking at the car and i'm like what's wrong with the car like why did he do all of this but then i looked down and the tire was bad like the tire was punctured and i'm just like oh god it feels so bad mind you it's so awkward like we don't have awkward moments like that but automatically we're not talking and he's just over here going to his trunk to get a spare and I'm just like like what do I do like cause I don't know how to change the tire so he's about to change his own tire mind you he has on his Yeezys and there's a puddle and he walks like he he has to change his tire so he steps in the puddle his shoes are getting dirty and I'm like oh my god because he's like crazy about his shoes so the fact that his shoes are getting dirty, his tire is punctured, I just ran his car into something, a curb and whatever else was there. I just feel terrible. I'm just, boop, I'm mute. And uh, he's changing his tire. Duh, duh, duh. I'm like, oh my God. He's like, go turn off the car. So I go to turn off the car and I tend to like turn, I like turn the key too much. And I'm like turning the key. Mind you, I think I was turning it on like, I was about to mess up his thing. Because I'm turning. I think I turned it in the wrong way or some shit. I did some dumb shit. Because my jaw I'm already shooken up and traumatized. And I'm like. And he's like. Turn it the. He's like. Sierra. How many times I got to tell you. You got to turn it the other way. And don't turn it that hard. Like. Because I think I be doing it too much. I'm like. Anyways. I'm a little. I guess rough. I don't know. So he was like. Are you serious? Like, are you serious? Like, this bitch is just trying to ruin my car. Like, are you serious? Are you trying to ruin my car? Are you are you trying to ruin my car? And I'm just like, I just took the key out. And I'm like, here you go. Here you go. So he changes his tire. No, he's changing the tire. And I'm just standing there in the snow, like, useless. I don't, I, what am I going to do? I don't know how to change a tire. So I'm just there, like, Mind you, the tire that I just popped was a brand new tire that he literally just had to buy because he had, his other tire had went flat. So he had to buy that tire like literally a week ago. And I just went and broke, popped it. And the one spare he had was, um, I think that's the one he had took off or whatever. So that is like flat. So that needs air so he changes it but it still needs air but it's not as bad as the one that i just freaking damaged because that shit is punctured like cup like 
bad. So, uh, he's done. We get in the car, and seatbelt, seatbelt. He's driving now, obviously. And he's like, he's not saying anything. Like, <laughs> So, he's just on his phone, he's looking up like a car place, at the time I didn't know that. So then he turns the GPS on and I'm just thinking to myself like, where are we going? But I'm not going to ask where the hell we're going because, huh, see? But when he turned the car or whatever, it looked like he was going in the direction of my house. So I was like, okay, he's about to drop me off and dip because, tsh. mind you, it's a quiet, quiet car ride. It's just, so I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. And he said nothing. And I was like, okay, all right. So he continues to drive and he gets to a tire place. And mind you, this is literally New Year's Day. So they're closed. So I'm like, oh my God, great. Just freaking great, you know? Like, are you serious? Perfect. Um. So then he looks to me and he's like, do you know where we're at? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, do you know how to get to the mall for the food or whatever? Or whatever. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, come on. Come in, the, come in the driver's seat. Let's switch. I'm like, huh? He's like, let's switch. Come on. So, um, we switch. And I'm, no. So, he's like, come on, get in the driver's seat. Let's switch. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, you, why do you want me to drive? Like, I just freaking, like, crashed your freaking car into a freaking curb. And he's like, you're going to learn how to drive today. And I'm like, I'm like, huh? Like, why would you want me to drive your car after I just hit your car? Like, what? Like, who art thou? Like, you want me to get back in the driver's seat and drive you to the mo- uh, huh? He said, come on, let's go. Like, let's go. So I get out the passenger seat and I go to the driver's seat. And, um, so I get out the driver's, the passenger seat, I go to the driver's seat, and he's like, I'm scared. And he can tell that I'm scared, so I'm like, just like, taking the car out of the parking spot that we're parked into, and I'm driving straight, and he's like, we're about to go to the gas station so we can air up the tire that he has so that it's not, like, flat, so he's just like, we're gonna go to the gas station. So he's like, um, don't be scared. Because he can tell I'm scared. I'm like, so scared. He's like, don't be scared. Like, you're over here freaking out about a flat tire. Because that's what it was. You over here freaking out because you ruined a tire. When people kill people and they're still driving, like, you're fine. You just need to learn. You just need to focus. You need to know that when you're driving, that you need to be all the way there. Like, you know there's a sidewalk. Be aware of the sidewalk and when you're making a decision consider the sidewalk and the car whatever you don't need to panic because he he figured that i panicked because there was a car right here and then there was a curb and i had already started to split off so he is trying to say that i decided to go in the lane of the like like trying to go more towards the curb than towards the car because he like i don't want to hit the car or whatever i didn't think that deeply of it but that was his explanation he was like you just try to avoid the car and you ended up going too close to the curb and that's what happened so I'm like, yeah, well, most likely, I don't really know. I didn't know I was that close to the curb, so whatever. He's like, so you need to not be scared. Just That's why I'm telling you, get back in the driver's seat and drive because it's just a flat tire. Shit happens. I was like, okay, well, I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting that because you was quiet the whole time, whatever. He's like, that's just how you control yourself. Like, it, like, at the moment, who the hell wants to talk really like, you know, like, it's like, damn, I just bought this tire and it's like punctured or whatever. And, you know, you just take your time to, like, process things. And I guess he was just processing it, but processing it. So, um, finally, I'm, okay, we had our talk. I'm not nervous anymore. Well, that nervous. I'm still on edge because I'm still, like, ugh, like, I still don't want to be driving a car. I don't want, like, this is already the second thing that I almost did to your, well, third thing. First, it was the key thing. Well, first, it was the, um... I almost drove into the car in front of me because I didn't put the thing in reverse. Then it was the key situation. No, then it was the curb and then it was the key. So I'm like, okay, like, ugh. But um, I was like, okay, whatever. Like, he talked to me and I feel better about it. So I'm driving to the gas station and I'm like, I don't know how to correctly pull in 
to like the pump area or whatever like this will be the pump thingy and my i'll pull in like right here and it's like obviously it does not stretch that far so you need to be like right here so you can pump your gas type shit because i thought he was getting gas at the time i don't know so he was like well you're gonna learn today he was like, you gonna learn today you're gonna learn how to drive you're gonna learn how to park you're gonna learn the whole nine today <laughs> and i'm like okay I'm like, okay. So he's like, pull into the gas station. Like, I, I said you're learning. So I pulled into the gas station. And he was like, pull up to the, the um tire thingy where you can, like, air up your tire or whatever. So I pull up to it. And he's like, okay, good job. Like, he was like, you've been driving perfectly fine all day. The only thing is with the whole curb thing. So just chill out. You got this. Don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Because I'm still kind of tense. And, um... So, we pull into the tire thing, he airs up the tire, and now we're good to go until, um, I told him I would replace his tire, like, his brand new tire, like, I'll buy him back the tire, and he was like, alright, cool, like, whatever, whatever, and then we just ended up going to the mall and getting something to eat, and then we had, like, a nice day. But, yeah, that man really surprises me because if somebody would have crashed my car and did that shit, I was not letting them drive again. I would have been like, uh, clearly you don't know how to drive, so clearly you are not driving. But the fact that he was like, get out the car, get into the driver's seat, we gonna do this again, you gonna learn how to drive. I was just like, oh my god, who is this man? Like, marry me. Um, but that is the story time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's kind of like... I don't know if I don't know if it's juicy or not, but thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my video. I'm trying to be way more consistent in 2020. I'm still coming on YouTube looking like a bum, but um, consistent. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be that, and then maybe 2021 I could try to be in a cute on the tube. Um, I promise my hair was cuter than this though. It was in a cute little style, like, you know, something cute or whatever, but now it's a little messed up or whatever. Bitch, I don't know why I got the coat on. I went outside, and then I came inside, and I was like, let me do a YouTube video, and I didn't take the coat off like a dumbass. But, um, stop messing up hair, please. Please. Damn, tell me why you always gotta be a hater, shit. Um, you see this, you see this, you see this, you see this? Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And stay tuned for everything I have in store this year. Bye, guys.